This is arguably the most difficult type of question you'll get in a core one exam, where you're asked to find the equation of the normal to a curve. Now, remember that the normal to a curve, so here's a quick diagram. So there's the graph. Okay, so the tangent is that. Now, remember, the normal is, a, is perpendicular to the tangent. So that is the normal line, the one I've just drawn in. So... Remember, there's a key point we need to remember here from the coordinate geometry, that when two grains are perpendicular, you should remember that m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. And that is going to be a very important fact here to help us answer this question. So, firstly, it says find the equation of the normal to the curve, y equals x squared minus x at the point 2, 2. So, firstly, what we need to find is we need to find the gradient of the tangent. So, to do that, you should remember that we have to differentiate this first. So, dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 1. Now, we need to substitute into this, sub in, x equals 2, to find the gradient of tangent. Find gradient of tangent. Of tangent. So, let's do that. So, 2 times 2 minus 1. Well, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3. Now that is the grain of the tangent. Now, remember what I said a minute ago, that the normal is the line perpendicular to this. So we know the grain of this line, so if we put it through this equation, m1 times m2 equals minus 1, we should be able to find the gradient of the normal line. So, let's do that. So find the grain of the normal of the normal so let's quickly just write down the equation again so m1 m2 equals minus 1 there's no harm in writing that down to show your, ex your examiner that you know exactly what you're doing so 3 times m2 equals minus 1 so m2 is equal to minus 1 over 3 so that is the gradient of the normal. Now, this means now that our normal line, our normal line has equation y equals minus 1 over 3x plus c. And we're told that this passes through the point in the question we're told it passes through the point 2, 2. So if we substitute that into the equation we've just found, we should be able to complete the equation for the normal. So, so sub in 2, 2. So our y coordinate is 2, so minus 1 third times 2 plus c. Because we want to find out this constant c, which is where it crosses the y-axis. So, 2 times minus a third is minus 2 thirds plus c. Okay, and we need to add that 2 thirds to both sides. So, we're going to have 2 add 2 thirds. So, and that means, remember, 2 is made out of 3, out of three thirds. So, in 2, there's 6 thirds plus two-thirds, which is eight-thirds. So that's a little side note. So we've got eight over three equals C. So our equation of the normal, equation of the normal, so Y is equal to minus a third X, plus 8 over 3. Now, it might make sense here, because they're both thirds, to multiply through by 3, so we've not got any fractions. So if we do that, we end up with 3y equals minus x 
plus 8, which if we move everything over to the left hand side, we're going to have 3y plus x minus 8 equals 0. So that's the equation of the normal. And there's several different ways there that the answer could be written. Right, that's part A completed. Let's have a look at part B. So, part B says, find the coordinates at the point where the normal hits the curve again. Now, obviously, if we just look at the diagram I started drawing earlier on, there's this point here where it touches, but if we continue on both bits of the graph, eventually, they're going to intersect again. And we want to find this point here where they intersect again. So, we now know two equations, and what we're going to do is we're going to use simultaneous equations to find out what the other value is. So, we're going to use a bit of simultaneous equations and substitution. So, we're told the original um, equation was y equals, this is part b now, y equals x squared minus x. That was our original, and our equation for the, for the um, normal is y equals minus a third x plus 8 over 3. Now, I suggest the easiest way to do this is to substitute in the y here in place of this y. So then we're going to left, be left with an equation just involving x. So let's do that. So we're going to have a third x plus 8 over 3 is equal to x squared minus x. Now, at this stage, I think I'm going to multiply through by 3. Now, that means that when we're doing this, you're going to times both the x squared by 3 and the minus x by 3. So, minus x plus 8 equals 3x squared minus 3x. Now, if we collect everything together on one side, hopefully, this is going to factorise. So, 0 equals... 3x squared, so minus 3x, and you're going to add on x, so that's going to become minus 2x, and then take away the 8, so that's what you're left with. Now, we know from the first part of the question that this definitely passes through the point 2, 2. So we know that one number in the, uh, in the brackets, when we factorise, has got to be 2. Now, if it's 2, remember, when you put it in the brackets... We're going to have a 3x. We're going to have a plus and a minus because it's a minus 8 here. Now, because it's 2 here, remember in the bracket, it's always to make minus, uh, to make 0. So it's going to be the, the opposite sign. So instead of being plus 2, it's going to be minus 2 in the bracket. So it's going to involve minus 2 and 4. And let's just check we get this the right way around. So... We want to make minus 2, and one of them is going to be times by 3. So, if minus 2 was times by 3, that would make minus 6. Add on 4 is minus 2. So, that's the right way around. So, it means that this bracket is going to be the minus 2, and this bracket the plus 4. Now, as I said before, we don't need to worry about this side here, because we already know that coordinate is 2, 2. We're going to concentrate on this bit. So what value makes this bracket equal to 0? Because when you're multiplying two brackets together, the only way you can get 0 is if one bracket is equal to 0. So we want 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So that's 3x is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to minus 4 over 3. Not quite finished the question yet, because we're asked to find the coordinates. So if we substitute... That value we just found into one of our two equations we started with, we'll get the final answer. Now, I'm going to use the second equation rather than the top equation. So, y equals minus a third x. Let's just check my plus. I think it was plus 8 over 3. Plus 8 over 3. So, now we're going to substitute in, so sub in x equals minus 4 over 3. So y equals minus a third times minus 4 over 3 plus 8 over 3. 
So, let's just finish this off. So, minus 1 times minus 4 is 4. So it's 4 over 9, because 3 times 3 is 9, plus 8 over 3. Now, we can make 8 over 3 into ninths by multiplying the top and bottom by 3. So that's 24 over 9. Which if you add those two bits up together, you should get should get y equals 28 over 9 so the coordinate we've got is the x value which was minus 4 over 3 and the y part that's 28 over 9 I mean you can convert both of those into mixed fractions if you want but at A level it's perfectly acceptable to leave it like that now, as I said, this is probably the most difficult style quarter one question you can get, but it could appear. So try and break up the question into steps. And remember, even if you can't answer one part, you may be able to answer the second part of the question because there is follow-through marks.